Hello and welcome back to an episode of Europe and Cells for As Serbia. Last episode, we, well, I showed you all the progress we made. We declared war on Venice and we actually took some land from them. And I'm thinking, when is our. Should we don't have one with, with them anymore? So, the, so Hungary is very willing to join the war against the Ottomans again, as long as we give them land. I'm not sure I want to do it quite yet. Uh, and I actually think we're going to place most of this stuff. This is vital interest. I think we're just going to abandon uh, Byzantium as allies. Because Hungary does want... I don't know, what do we want to take? Do we want to take, try and take Southern Bulgaria? Northern Bulgaria is going to the Hungarians. That's not really going to change. I mean, if we could get Hungary to join the war without it, that'd be great, too. Oh, this Regency sucks. I don't know. Should we just go for it? I need to look at something real quick. Okay. Yeah, I did want to make sure that I actually, like, you know, started doing everything because that would have been very bad if I wasn't recording my audio so what do we have the claim here on, on Albania well we do now when, if we declare war on Albania Venice won't join oh yeah we've been warned by the Ottomans I mean we're not in debt yeah, there's rebels, but they're just these Dalmatian rebels, which we'll be able to get rid of. Actually, I could get rid of them right now. Once they go up to 50, I'll just provoke revolt. And, and honestly, they're probably going to become... Uh, it's probably going to go up to 50 fairly quickly. Yeah, sorry there. Herze Actually, giving it to Herzegovina is not a bad idea. Just let them court. And then I don't have to. You know what? Let's do it. We'll take some loans. What the hell's going on here? Separate peasants and aw, oh, key and separatists. Again, I love me I love me some siege pit generals. They're they're very, very helpful. We'll attach it to the first army. Now we'll actually give it some time for that all to, to work. These guys should still be on supportive, yeah. Having these marches made my first war against the Ottomans very easy. Well, actually, not easy. Fighting the Ottomans is never easy. But it made it a lot easier. I thought it would be, I mean, we'll actually do that. Just because it will help improve our relations with a lot of nations. So, I think we're going to go for Macedonia. I mean, we could, maybe I'll, nah, Macedonia is going to be better. Because the provinces are higher uh, development. My only worry is that Byzantium is absolutely going to probably give military access to one of my allies, which will give the Ottomans military access. But you know what? Let's do it. So yes, Hungary, I will give you land. And we're going to be declaring war for... I guess which one's more developed? Uh, actually, we're going to declare a war for Kessary or whatever it is. And let's go. Now, we do have a pretty nice ass uh, siege pip general. Oh, who's going to get there first, though? 23rd of April. Oh, yeah, not us. State needs the money. Alright, 
Go, go, go. Oh, this is going to be beautiful for us. That was great. All right, we're, we're heading right to Solanic because we need to get that. They should give me control of it. Because I believe I did mark it as. There we go. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we won't do Byzantium provinces yet. And thankfully, since we have that two siege pip general, it's really nice. Uh, I actually do want us to focus on getting these smaller Ottoman armies. Because I think if we can whittle down their manpower in these small armies, that will fare a lot better. God, they have so much manpower. Come on, come on, win the battle. Yes! Yes! Very, very good. Honestly, if the Mamluks declare war, which is... I'd say it's realistic that they try and fight them now. Very realistic. We are going to be in such a good position. We just need... If we can get the Siege of Salanic, I'd say that everything else is pretty much... <gasps> yes! Guys, I would... I'm literally saying this war is as good as one. Uh, we'll deal with that later. Uh, they are right on our capital, which is less than ideal. But honestly, this war is won. At the very least, neutral. And of course, the Ottomans are going to completely ignore their front. So I, I literally believe that when Paradox says that the AI is, doesn't focus on the player, I actually think they're lying. Now more than ever, I need the AI to not dick me over with, not, I mean, the random numbers to dick me over with these sieges. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? The Ottomans have completely, where, where is Hungary? Thank you. All right, let's go fix some of this stuff. Yeah, ignore their demands. Hungry, where are your, where's your army? No, like for real. They have 15,000 troops. Where are they? Oh, well, let's go get Kessery, because that'll give us some war score. Here, we'll actually split them off. We'll just start carpet sieging. Because I'm, I want to take Macedonia. They're very close to being willing to give it to us. I think if we can actually siege down some more forts, then they'll be willing. If we can get this one, I would say that they're probably going to give us Macedonia. Is that our siege pip general? I hope not. No, it wasn't. The longer the war goes on... So Hungary peaced out. So we, we should consider not fighting anymore. I really do want to get Siraz. You know what? We might be able to tip the war score in our favor just from getting some of these provinces. Oh, yeah. And it's actually... This is kind of good for us. Wait. We'll stop. Will they? I don't want to get greedy. So we'll take that.
Yeah, and our leader is going to get replaced. Piss off, dude. KOTOR. Uh, we'll boost stability. And I really don't want to do that, but we kind of have to. I have a feeling that our leader is getting replaced. You know, oh, well, that'll probably help us out. But, yeah, we actually got some land. And the Mamluks are probably going to shit all over the Ottomans the rest of the way. Move capital to Belgrade, sure. Yeah, we'll make Dalmatia a state. Yeah, we're going to have rebels for a while. But I'm not that worried. Man, we really have no admin, do we? Yeah, let's focus on the admin tech. We're pretty far behind. Admins, the next people I go to war with are going to be you. I really don't care. Oops, hit my microphone with my pop filter. I think they just white piece so we're still allied, yeah. I really don't want to, but we will base currency. We actually, we don't have that many loans. It is going to be a pain in the butt trying to deal with all these rebels for a bit. I think we're going to be okay. Hot damn. This is good. This is very good. This is more than good. This is great. Big thing with piecing the Ottomans apart is it doesn't only strengthen us, it weakens them. And man, I'm going to be happy to see what the Mamluks do to them. Because they're probably going to take a lot. Wait, you know what? We should yeah, get that claim with Spilato. Truthfully, I don't care what the Ottomans want me to do. Look, they won't even join the war. Well, actually, that's against Venice, which they weren't going to join the war anyway. And we get an alliance with Austria. This really does just keep getting better and better for us. Okay, at least our military tech is good, even if our admin tech is bad. Which I want, it's probably going to be bad for a while just because of what we're doing. Cannot, yeah, we don't want to risk antagonizing them. So, do we think of revoking our march statuses on them? Uh, yeah, we can actually drop our tax, because we do make a lot of money off of the gold. So it's not as much of a problem. Yeah, there's going to be some Byzantine separatists, which might be a problem. Yeah, we can fight them in the hills, we don't want to fight them there. Oh yeah, because that's our capital, Belgrade. Look at us here. We'll sit in Coaster. So our ultimate goal is going to be to get uh, Constantinople down here. Because it was actually an event to make, to make it Serbian. I think it's just a copy of the Russian event. So they took substantially less of the Ottomans that I was hoping for. Although I do think... Ottomans will cede Tekke to Mamluks. Ottomans will give cores Kishir, Hamid, and Karashar to Karaman. Ottomans will give cores Marash to Dolkadir. That wasn't a lot. They actually didn't do much to them. But the fact that we were able to beat them all at all in a war is a great start. And we do we do need to consider declaring war on them again. I 
I would say that we should really just start hammering on the Ottomans as much as we can, whenever we can. That's only a 13. We don't. Now, this would be dumb. We make this a Greek province so that, uh, so that I can make Greek an accepted culture. You know what? Screw it. Let's have fun. Wait, when is this going to be done by? That's a better question. Uh, when's our truce up? 75. Yeah, let's not. Yeah, piss off. I'm glad to see that Austria and Venice are friends. It definitely doesn't make me upset at all. Oh no, they emerged in the mountains. Well, now they're all dead. Do they own Dalmatian provinces? No. Yeah, obviously we have... No, our development's not even close to theirs. Oh. Well, I actually do want to get rid of them. Because I don't know if they'll break my march status with them. So honestly, we can just keep um, smashing them with our uh, mercenary armies over and over again. I want to be really good is we should actually wait maybe until the Mamlux is uh, truce is over with the Ottomans. So that when we do that... Okay, for a second I thought that they picked me as their rival. So because if we do that, then there's a chance the Mamlux will declare war on them again and we don't have to one-on-one -on -one the Ottoman Empire. When do we get cannons? Next military tech. However, I do also want to take some time to build up our nation again. Because we are fairly weakened right now. We have almost no manpower. Wait, why am I saying almost no manpower? We have no manpower. No spare manpower anyway. We have war exhaustion, although that's all gone. We're pretty far behind in our tech. Yeah, whatever. Just let them do whatever they want. At least our regency's over. We got a decent heir. Oh, and he just got excommunicated. Are they not rivals anymore? Oh, look how much debt they're in. If we could get the Ottomans to go bankrupt, that would be amazing. Services will be useful. Yes, I do want some prestige. What's his claim like? Oh, he has a strong claim. That's nice. Okay, good. And we can get that. Has the Renaissance come to any of our provinces yet? No. No, not really. Hopefully we can get knowledge sharing for someone because I really we can't really afford to. Uh, I can do. You're not really a good province to develop. Neither are you, Belgrade, but you're our capital at least. See, so yeah, we can boost the manpower there. Great. Great. We're doing good. We're doing good. I think if we can take most of, of uh, northern Greece from the Ottomans, we're going to be sufficiently strong to where we can shut them down. Actually, let me take that back. Next war... I mean, I do want to take Salanic, just so we can complete that state. But I think in the next war, we should absolutely take at least um, this one. For the sole reason... Reconquest. No. Oh. Uh. 
No, no, no. Well, actually... The thing is, we are going to have an autonomy problem, but I do think having the max accepted cultures is going to be better, just because we're going to be taking a lot of... There's not very much Serbian land that... Actually, we own all but one Serbian province. Eventually, we can shift that over, because once we become an empire, we'll accept all South Slavic cultures. But obviously, that hasn't happened yet. Honestly, let's just leave these guys as marches for a while. I think they're more useful that way. Alright, let's build up our spy network so we can get some new claims on the Ottomans. So our truce is up with the Ottomans. However, I don't think it's a good idea to declare war right now. Having the Mamluks jump in was a big bonus. And I believe they're still in massive amounts of debt. And we're fairly weak right now, still. See, I don't think it's a good idea for us to declare war on them quite yet. Uh, oh, damn it. I want a siege pit. I mean, we have spare military power. Damn you. All right, last time. Yes! But we will keep the shock eye on because it'll be more useful. And I guess this is where we're going to end it for today, guys. So if you enjoyed the episode, which I hope you did, remember to like it. It really helps me out. Leave a comment down below. I love what you guys have to say, and I do try and respond. And if you guys want to see more of my content, remember to subscribe. I'll catch you all next time. Peace!